May the Lord bless and strengthen us for what is yet to come, heart dwellers. I normally don't share a news item and I don't go looking for them, but this one came to me and it's a complete confirmation of the vision that I had about two weeks ago of the Syrian border uh, being filled with soldiers, being packed in with soldiers and, and armies. And so I'm going to read it to you. It's from True News. I don't really have any recommendation for True News other than that it is definitely a confirmation of what the Lord told me was about to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. Wednesday, February 10th, Saudi Arabia and at least 200 Arab allies began moving 350,000 ground troops into northern Saudi Arabia. From there, it is just a short pass through western Iraq to reach the Syrian border. In addition, they are also moving 20,000 tanks, 2,450 warplanes, and 460 military helicopters. The Saudis are claiming the movements are for military exercises, which is a big stretch because it would be the region's largest military exercises ever. They're claiming these as exercises, which will be completed by February 28th, which means we might see military conflict starting very soon. Another more believable explanation for the troop movements is the Sunni rebels fighting against the Syrian government are getting whipped badly now that Syria has the help of Russian forces. The rebels are very close to losing the war, which has been largely funded and equipped by Saudi Arabia and the United States. The Saudis are using Syria as a proxy war to fight their true enemy, Iran. So if the rebels can't get the job done, the Saudis are preparing to do it themselves, with the backing of the United States, of course. Saudi Arabia's troop movements prompted Russia to repeat a warning released earlier in the week that any foreign troops entering Syria without permission from Syrian government would be a declaration of war. Thursday, February 11th, Saudi military leaders announced on television they will not back down, saying that the decision to send ground troops into Syria is final. Did they just say the decision to invade Syria is final? Yes, they did. And unless they change course, World War III would be unavoidable. It gets worse because the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Ash Carter, followed the Saudi announcement with a strong show of support, asking our NATO allies to join in a coalition to send ground troops into Syria, ignoring Russia's threat to declare war. The United States just upped the ante by threatening the Russians with all of NATO. Then Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev escalated Russia's threat to declare war by warning about a new world war. He said the demands of some Arab countries to send ground forces into Syria risks starting a new world war. Now when I heard this, I was just about to go into prayer. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, it seems like such a confirmation. The movement is 350,000 Arab coalition troops. And the Lord began, it is more than that, my love. It is the death knell. Truly, the signs are everywhere, and this time it means business. As I have told you, I will not put this off again. It has passed the point of no return. As things come to a head, my brides, I want you to press in praying the divine mercy prayer and strengthen yourselves for intercessory burdens, which I will allow. It may seem very dire and drastic to you, what I allow you to carry, but nothing is as important to me as a last-minute harvest of souls before I take you. Believe me, your rewards will make you totally forget about what you suffered down here. Does not a woman forget the distress of birth pains when she is finally given birth? Even so, you will forget the tragedies and distresses of this earthly life as I immerse you in my joy. Do not expect your crosses to get lighter and lighter as we approach that time. 
Rather, arm yourselves with patience and faith, knowing that I foretold this time of suffering. Have you not offered yourselves to me? Have you not said you want to co-labor with me in the fields? Well, at this time in history, this is your part. You cannot rejoice over what you cannot see, so I'm asking you to rejoice in your sufferings, for they are bringing a heavy weight of glory to my kingdom. As the lost come to me, sometimes one by one, sometimes hundreds upon hundreds. Yes, conviction will be upon this battlefield. Not one Jew, Gentile, or Muslim will escape conviction. If there is a body with a soul in it, rest assured it shall be convicted and perhaps allowed a millisecond to call on me in the midst of the carnage. And I just wanted to make an aside here. He said that because there are now many laboratory humanoid bodies without souls who are trained and engaged for battle, and they do not have souls, so there's nothing to bring conviction to. They're more like machines than actual humans. He continued, As things come to a head, there will be much unrest in your country. Now will be the time to prepare for the conflagration that is coming. Focus on books and information to be handed out. This is your mission, to disseminate the truth. As you do this faithfully, as those who take over the ministry do this faithfully, I will provide everything they need, but they must be faithful to the apostolate of informing and praying for others. Your job here is almost done, Claire, almost done. Don't stress, rest, and I will bring things to a swift and efficient conclusion. You are coming home, my brides. 